Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's just continue to worship. Let's continue to just give him the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Lord, we exalt your name. Hallelujah. The song says, embrace me, Lord. No Abrázame. No puedo, no puedo, no puedo, no, Señor. No puedo vivir lejos de tu abrazo, Señor. No puedo vivir lejos de tu abrazo. I can't live by all the power in the I can live in love. 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 I can live Con tus brazos de amor, Señor, abrázanos. Embrace us with your arms of love, Lord. Embrace us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Gracias, Señor. I want you to feel the embrace of the Father today. Hallelujah. I don't know what could be distracting you from the embrace of the Father today. But I want you to know that your Father will make all things right. Allow Him to work that miracle in your life right now. Hallelujah. Worship you, and we exalt the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Abrázame. Embrace me, Lord. Abrázame.
seeing like a, a dark thick cloud and when we look at the heavens and we see a dark cloud we know that it was is about to rain but I, I just saw a dark cloud but it was not a rain cloud because, but it was in that, in that place where it was just ready to break forth the rain. But it was a, a cloud, a rain of love. If ever there was a time when humanity needed the love of God, it's in this time. If ever there was a time when humanity had been crying out for salvation, it was this time. And heaven is getting ready to pour out His glory, His love as never before. So that the creation can open their eyes and see the glory of God. Just receive the love of God today. Receive the love of God. Oh, of Jesus today. I want you to know that when you're in the arms of your Father, there is no enemy that can come close to you. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Mm. Just receive from Him right now. Just receive from the Spirit of God right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Just receive. Receive the touch of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord Jesus. More of you. 
your spirit, God. More of your power today. Ask him to pour out upon you his spirit. If you would ask, it says, Fathers and the youth know how to give good things to their children. It says, if, you, if your child asks you for bread, you wouldn't give him a stone. If he asks you for a fish, you wouldn't give him a serpent. How much more your heavenly father wouldn't give the spirit to those who ask? Ask for his spirit today. Would you walk with me today, Lord? When I have to go through this trial today, somebody is facing a, something they don't want to go through today. There are some things that we wish we could do, we don't have to face. Maybe you have to meet someone that you don't want that you have a, a long, hard history with. I don't know what it is that you have to face. But will you ask him to be with you? His Holy Spirit wants to be with you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Lord, can you be with me today? Can I feel your presence? Oh, hallelujah. I want to be with you, Lord. I need more, more, more. Jesus, more. Hallelujah. Ask him for more. When I have been old, years done. For me like an empty cup. When I feel like I've had enough, still need more, more, more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
on the side of me. I want the hungry people, the thirsty people to begin to cry out to God. Just say more, Lord Jesus. More I know, Lord Jesus. I need more. I want more, Lord. More of your love. Spirit. We thank God so much for His presence today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I pray that you're excited about Jesus today. And I pray that you're ready to receive everything that the lord has prepared for you today hallelujah thank you jesus blessed be the name of the lord well, i want to welcome you to our our thursday devotional today Les damos la bienvenida a nuestro devocional de jueves. hallelujah and um i know that god has something prepared for you and so you you have to be ready to receive y tienen que estar listos para recibir what god has prepared for you lo que Dios ha preparado para ustedes. how many of us understand that we serve a good god now you need to understand what what that means. I know maybe in your lifetime you have not had a lot of good people around you. So maybe we don't understand fully what 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 goodness means. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Galatians. Chapter 5. Mira lo que la Biblia dice en el libro de Gálatas, capítulo 5. It says this, chapter 5, verse 22. Gálatas 5, 22. The Bible says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law. Mas el fruto del Espíritu es amor, gozo, paz, paciencia, benignidad, bondad, fe, mansedumbre, templanza. Y contra tales cosas no hay ley. You understand what the Bible is saying? Entiendes ahora lo que la Biblia está diciendo? This is the fruit of the Spirit. Este es el fruto del Espíritu. This is the characteristic of the Spirit. Esta es la característica del Espíritu. This is the DNA of the Spirit. Este es el ADN del Espíritu. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Bendito sea el nombre de Jesús. And it gives you um, the correct personality for a child of God. Y te da la, acá la, el carácter o la personalidad de un and hijo so, de Dios. And so what the Bible says is that there is no law against this. Y la Biblia dice que no hay ley contra esto. There is no law no that can come against esto. your the fruit of the spirit. No hay ley que pueda venir contra el fruto del espíritu. In other words, nobody could tell you that you 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 cannot have joy there can be many laws in in the land there can be many laws in even in in religiosity but the but but the bible tells you that there is no law Que no hay ley. There is no rule no hay, no hay regla. that can tell you not 
to have the fruit of the Spirit. There is no law that tells you you, you cannot have joy. No hay ninguna ley que te diga que no puedes tener gozo. The enemy tries to do things to take away your joy. El enemigo trata de hacer cosas para quitar tu gozo. He tries to do things to take away your peace. Trata de hacer cosas para quitar tu paz. To take away um, the fruit of the Spirit from your life. Para quitar el fruto del Espíritu de tu but, vida. But the King has proclaimed His law over you. Pero el Rey ha proclamado su ley sobre ti. And His law is the fruit of the Spirit. Y su ley es el fruto and, del Espíritu. And so there is no law that can come against the law Así que no hay of God. Ley que pueda venir en contra la ley de Dios. And so there is a law that says you can have joy. Así que hay una... Hay una ley que te dice, tú puedes tener gozo. You can have peace. Tú puedes tener paz. You can have patience. Tú puedes tener paciencia. Aren't you glad to know that there is no law against faith? Te, no te da alegría y gozo saber que hay una ley que no puede you, eh, estar en contra de la fe. You read, you read about, again, the, the, the fruit of the Spirit. Le, lee de nuevo el fruto del Espíritu. Read the, 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 the things that God says that no earthly law can change. Lee lo que Dios dice que ninguna ley terrenal pueda, puede cambiar. No um, government can change this. Ningún gobierno puede cambiar esto. This is kingdom culture here we're talking Esta about. Esta es la cultura del reino que estamos hablando. This is kingdom DNA. Este es el ADN del reino. It says here. Um, let's continue to read verse 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affection and the lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us walk also in the spirit. Y si vivimos por el Espíritu, andemos también por el Espíritu. Oh, hallelujah. There is no law against the fruit of the spirit. No hay ninguna ley que pueda levantarse en contra de los frutos del, del fruto del espíritu. No, the word fruit and I spoke this in many times already. The word fruit here that is used means offspring. Y he hablado muchas veces de esto, la palabra fruto aquí eh, eh, habla de this descendant. De it's it's the, the from the Greek word carpos. Es de la palabra griega carpos. And it speaks about descendant. Y habla de la descendencia. It speaks about DNA. Habla del ADN. And so what you are seeing here in this list is the DNA of the Spirit of God. Y lo que ves aquí en la lista es el ADN del Espíritu no, de Dios. I want to particularly zero in on, on some of these words here. Y particularmente quiero enfocarme en una de esas palabras acá. Because I believe that God wants to deposit something into your spirit today. Because there are a lot of words here that are used in scripture interchangeably. These are words that, that sometimes you see one replacing the other. Y son palabras que muchas veces vemos que se reemplazan una a otra. And so I want to, you would realize that some of them, they are grouped together. Y te das cuenta que muchas de ellas se unen en un, en un, en un párrafo. For, for example, the first three that is listed here in the fruit of the Spirit. Las primeras tres que se, se, se uh, hacen la lista aquí en el fruto del Espíritu. You would see them all the time appearing together. Siempre las vas a ver apareciendo juntas. And that is love. Eso es amor. <coughs> joy. Gozo. And peace. Y paz. And it's, you realize that these are the three that are listed first. Y te das cuenta que estas son tres que están siempre, eh, 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 se, se ven una y otra vez en la Biblia. These are things that God himself, he describes himself using these words. Y esas son palabras que Dios mismo se ha descrito, se ha, eh, ha, ha hecho eh, una descripción de sí mismo a través de estas palabras. For example, God calls himself love. Ah, por ejemplo, Dios habla de sí mismo como Él es amor. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Y la Biblia dice que el gozo del Señor es tu fortaleza. The Bible says that He is the Prince of Peace. Y la Biblia dice, Él es el Príncipe de Paz. So these words, they describe His DNA. Entonces estas palabras describen el ADN the de Dios. The fruit of the Spirit 
is the personality of your God. Entonces, el fruto del Espíritu es el ADN, la personalidad And so you and I as children of God, Entonces, te das cuenta, hijo de Dios, we have to look like him. Que los hijos de Dios nos que ver como él. And that's why he said there is no law against this. Entonces, dice, no hay ninguna ley contra no esto. one can stop you from showing forth who you are. Nadie te puede tener de demostrar quién eres. The, in other words, what I'm telling you is this, many times laws are created against actions. Es que por lo que te estoy intentando explicar es que muchas veces se en el mundo salen leyes para detener las acciones. But it's difficult to enforce laws against identity. Pero es muy difícil eh, levantar le leyes en contra de la identidad. There have been laws that have been rising up to attack identity. Sí, hay leyes que se han levantado para atacar la identidad. But it does not matter what law they pass. Pero no importa qué ley ellos pasan. If you are a man, you are a man. Si eres un hombre, eres un hombre. If you are a woman, you are a woman. Si eres una mujer, eres una mujer. That's who you are. Ese es quien eres tú. And so, you can pass whatever law, it doesn't change your identity. Eso puede pasar cualquier ley, pero eso no va a cambiar tu identidad. And so, the Bible is saying that there is no law against who you are. Entonces, la Biblia dice que no hay ley para en contra de quien eres. You are love. Tú eres amado. You are joy. Tú eres gozo. You are peace. Tú eres paz. Because that's who your God is. Es porque ya And si so, es, este es tu Dios. the fruit of the Spirit is the DNA inside of you. Entonces el fruto del Espíritu es el ADN dentro de ti. And so these three words, they speak so much about go, who God is. Entonces estas palabras hablan de quién es Dios. But I, I want to I want to zero in on some of the other words that are written here. Y quiero enfocarme en las otras palabras que están escritas And aquí. And I, I want us to be very practical this morning. Y quiero que lo hagamos muy práctico en esta mañana. Because I want you to leave this um this service having received something that would have impacted your life. Porque quiero que te vayas de ese servicio habiendo recibido algo que impacte tu vida. And so I want us to look at So the other words that follow love, joy, and peace. It speaks of patience. Habla de paciencia. Now, now this is where sometimes we start getting, getting problems. <laughs> y es aquí donde muchas veces tenemos problemas. We don't, you see this patient, that, that word patience, we have a lot of problems with our word. Esa palabra, paciencia, tenemos muchos problemas con esa palabra. We have a lot of problems with um, waiting. Tenemos muchos problemas con esperar. We don't like to wait. No nos gusta esperar. Jesus said, when, Jesus said, when you, the disciples, I want you to wait for the promise of the spirit. Jesús le dijo a sus discípulos, quiero que esperen por la promesa del espíritu. Wait. Esperen. You know what wait means? ¿Sabes qué significa esperar? Wait means wait. Esperar significa esperar. Anybody like to wait here? Yeah? ¿Hay alguien que le gusta esperar? Anybody loves to To, to, to sit down and, and wait in the presence of the Lord. Listen, Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. Jesus dijo, Mira, eh, 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 yo vengo rápido. Jesus said, I'm coming soon. Jesus dijo, yo vengo pronto. But, but, but Jesus means in that statement, he means that we have to wait. Pero en, en eso que dijo Jesús significa que tenemos que esperar. Because you realize that, that heaven's time is not your time. Porque te vas a dar cuenta que el, el tiempo del cielo no es tu tiempo. And so patience needs you to connect to heaven. Entonces la paciencia necesita que tú te conectes con el cielo. And so patience is a fruit of the spirit of Entonces, God. Entonces la paciencia es un fruto del espíritu It's de Dios. It's a fruit of God's spirit. Es es una es un es un fruto del espíritu de Dios. Oh, hallelujah. You have to have patience. Necesitas tener paciencia. You have to have patience to wait and and see the goodness of God. Necesitas tener paciencia y ver las bondades de Dios. And so, love. Amor. Joy. Gozo. Peace. Paz. Patience. Paciencia. Oh, hallelujah. No, I'll have to make a little transition. Um, no, I, I, 
Jeremias wants to translate, but I'm not so sure if he knows the word that I'm the words that I'm preaching. So I'm gonna act. I see um Kevin is here. Um, Pastor Kevin. Jeremias, I know you you want, but but I I I'm not even so sure. If, I don't know if you know these words that I'm using here. You know, I know my body. <laughs> I know you do, but I don't know if you know these words. <laughs> so um all right. All right, Natalia is coming back. Hermias, I love you. I, I, I love you and I know you're, you're, you're very willing, but I, I know the words that you don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Nata, the, let we'll continue. Kevin, I have one, two, three translators on standby. So, I, uh, so, 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 so we, 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 the word is going forth. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, patience. You all have to have patience today. The Spanish speakers, you all have to have patience. <laughs> Because the translation is coming. Porque la traducción viene. But you may have to wait a little bit. Pero si quizás tienes que esperar un poquito. Sometimes, every The things that you are you are asking God for. Muchas veces las cosas que tú le pides a Dios. It may take a little while. Quizás tome tiempo. And so patience is not a, a, a punishment from God. Entonces la paciencia no es un castigo de Dios. Patience is not a trial. La paciencia no es una prueba. Patience, the Bible says, is a fruit. La paciencia es el fruto. And it's part of who you are. Y es parte de quién eres. And it's kingdom language. Y es el lenguaje del now, cielo. Now, I have been in, 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 in the business world. Yo estuve en, en los negocios. And one of the things I realized is that business, in, in, the, in the world, businessmen are not so patient. Y yo me di cuenta que los, los hombres de negocios no son pacientes. If you have a, a meeting with a, 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 a manager, si tú tienes una reunión con un gerente, you, um, you, you have to, to ensure that you are there on time. Tú tienes que asegurarse que asegurarte que estás ahí con en tiempo. And so you realize that the world's culture is not God's culture. Y te das cuenta que la cultura del mundo no es la cultura de Dios. No, I'm not telling you to be late for your appointments. Eh? No les estoy diciendo de estar tarde siempre para todas tus as, citas. As a matter of fact, you realize that your God is always on time. Y te das cuenta que tu Dios siempre llega a tiempo. He is on time. Él siempre está a tiempo. But he has to have patience. Pero él tiene que tener paciencia. Because he's dealing with you and I. Porque él está tratando contigo y conmigo. And you and I, we always come late. Y nosotros siempre llegamos tarde. No, I'm not talking about just for your physical appointment. Yo no estoy hablando solo por tus citas físicas. I'm talking about when God calls you. Estoy hablando cuando Dios te llama. Some of you, you should have been saved about 10 years ago. Muchos de ustedes tenían que haber sido salvos 10 años atrás. But you came five years after you pero, were supposed pero to. Pero llegaste 10, 10, 5 años después de lo que debías. But the fruit of the Spirit. Pero el fruto del Espíritu. God espíritu, waited on you. Dios God is patient with you. Dios es paciente contigo. He, he, he needs patience to deal with you. Él necesita paciencia para tratar contigo. He needs patience to deal with me. Él necesita paciencia para tratar contigo. He needs conmigo. patience to deal with the world. Él necesita paciencia para tratar patience con el mundo. Patience is part of his nature. La paciencia es parte de su naturaleza. And so, and so you need to have patience. Así que tú tienes que tener paciencia. You need to wait on God. Tú tienes que esperar en Dios. And so you need to connect with the, the, the laws of the Spirit. Entonces tienes que conectarte con las leyes del Espíritu. And so the, the words that follow are connected. Las palabras que siguen están conectadas. It says gentleness, goodness, faith, Be meekness. Benignidad, bondad, fe, mansedumbre. No, um, you know, this, this week, this whole week, these words have been ministering to me a whole lot. Toda esta semana estas palabras me han estado ministrando mucho. And, and, and you know, these are words that, let, let, I want us to turn in our Bible to the book of, The book of Matthew, chapter 11. Quiero que vayamos a Mateo, capítulo 11. And we're going to go back to the fruit of the Spirit. Y vamos after. a volver al fruto del Espíritu. Después. Matthew, chapter 11. Mateo, capítulo 11. 
Look at what Jesus says about himself. Mira lo que dijo Jesús de sí mismo. Verse 25. Versículo 25. We're going to read from there. Vamos a leer ahí. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou has hidden these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Y en aquel tiempo respondiendo, Jesús dijo, Te alabo, Padre, Señor del cielo y de la tierra, porque escondiste estas cosas de los sabios y de los entendidos y las revelaste a los niños. Now, many times you would realize the Bible records some words of Je or some conversations between Jesus and the Father. Y te das cuenta que muchas veces la Biblia tiene conversaciones personales de Jesús con el Padre. And so in that, this conversation, he, he speaks, but he speaks audibly so that the persons around can hear what he's saying. Y lo que pasa es que en esta conversación de Jesús con el Padre, él habla audiblemente para que la gente a su alrededor pueda escuchar. And many times he even speaks to the people in the midst of the prayer. Y muchas veces se le habla a la gente en medio de la oración. And so this is one of those examples. Esos son uno de esos ejemplos. And so he's saying, Lord and Father, you have hidden these things from the wise and you've revealed it to babes. Y dice, porque Padre escondiste estas cosas de los sabios y los, y los entendidos y las revelaste a los niños. And verse 26 says, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. Y, y sí, Padre, porque así te agradó. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knows the, the Son but the Father. Neither knows any man the Father save the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. Y todas las cosas me fueron entregadas por mi Padre, y nadie conoce al Hijo sino el Padre, ni al Padre conoce alguno sino el Hijo. Then, then he says, a ver, y aquel a quien el Hijo lo quiera revelar. Then he says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Venid a mí todos los que están trabajados y cargados, y yo os haré descansar. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Llevad mi yugo sobre vosotros y aprended de mí. Que soy manso y humilde de corazón, y hallaréis descanso para vuestra alma. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Porque mi yugo es fácil y, mi, y ligera mi carga. Now, listen to, what, listen to what Jesus is saying. Escuchen lo que Jesús está diciendo. He's talking to the Father. Él le está hablando al Padre. But he's also talking to the people. Le está hablando también al hijo, because, a, los, a la gente. Because this is a prayer that is recorded. Porque es una oración que está so, escrita. So a prayer that is recorded, it, it means that he wants people to pay attention to what he's saying to the Father. Entonces una oración que queda escrita es porque él quiso que la gente pusiera atención a lo que él estaba diciendo al Padre. And to what, what he's saying to his people, to us. Y, cual, y qué era lo que él está diciendo a su pueblo, a nosotros. And so he says, no, these are things that the, the wise people, the, the wise of the world, they don't understand this. Y dijo, estas son cosas que los sabios del mundo no van a entender. This is kingdom, a, a kingdom culture here. Esta es la cultura del reino. This is kingdom DNA here. Este es el ADN del reino. The world does not applaud this. El mundo no aplaude esto. They will try to pass laws to stop this. Ellos van a intentar pasar leyes para detener esto. But there is no law against the things that I am speaking about. Pero no hay ninguna ley en contra de las cosas que yo so estoy hablando. These are the things that, that is good in your sight, Father. Estas son cosas que, que, son, que son agradables a ti, Padre. And he's saying, these are the things that, that, that needs to be revealed to your people. Y estas son cosas que tienen que ser reveladas a tu pueblo. So he says, all right, now come unto me, those that are laboring and, and burdened, and I'm going to give you rest. Entonces dice, venid a mí todos los que están trabajados y cargados y os haré descansar. And then he says, I want you, I'm, I'm, we're going to make an exchange. I want, I'm going to, you're going to take my yoke. Entonces dice, vamos a hacer un intercambio. Tú vas a llevar mi carga. 
So you realize that he the first thing he says you have a heavy burden. Lo primero que dice estás cargado y trabajado. You are weary with your burden. Estás muy cansado de tu carga. So come. Así que ven. And 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 I'm going to give you another burden. Y yo te voy a dar otra carga. But you're going to have to give me yours. Pero tú me vas a entregar, tener que entregar la tuya. But in the midst of it he says but you know something my burden is light. Pero dice en medio de todo dice sabes qué pero mi carga es ligera. My, what what I'm going to give you is a easy burden to carry. Lo que te voy a entregar es una carga muy fácil de llevar. It's nothing like the one you are carrying. Na, no es nada de lo que tú estás cargando. And so I want to I want to bring you a release upon your life. Voy a traer una libertad a tu vida. But for you to re receive that release, you're going to have to come to me. Pero para que tú puedas recibir todo este descanso y esta libertad, primero vas a tener que venir a mí. And he says, I want you, when you, when you take my yoke, I want you to learn something from me. Y él dice, cuando tomes oh, mi carga, quiero que aprendas algo de mí. Hallelujah, don't, don't miss what God is saying to you. No te pierdas lo que Dios está diciendo. I, I want you to learn a lesson. Quiero que aprendas una lección. For, he said, and this is what he says. He says, because I am meek. Dice porque yo soy manso. I am humble, lowly in heart. I'm humble. Y humilde de corazón. That word in other translations, it's 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 translated as I'm gentle. En eh, en dice bueno en otras traducciones en inglés soy gentil. I am I am corazón. I'm gentle and I am meek. Soy manso y gentil y humilde. I am I am I, I am lowly in heart, humble. Soy humilde de corazón. And what you realize that when you learn from Jesus, you're going to find rest for your soul. Y ahí te das cuenta que cuando aprendes de Jesús, hallaréis de, hallarás descanso para vuestra alma. And so what you what you what you're realizing here is that Jesus is speaking about his DNA. Entonces lo que te das cuenta es que Jesús está hablando de su ADN. So, so as we looked at the, the, the fruit of the Spirit, you see that God is love. Y ves el fruto del Espíritu, Dios es amor. He, God, he, he is filled with joy. Dios está lleno de, de gozo. The Bible speaks many times about the joy of the Lord. La Biblia habla muchas veces del gozo del Señor. In other words, God is not sad, no. En otras palabras, Dios no está triste. He, he's a joyful God. Él es un Dios gozoso. He's the Prince of Peace. Él es el príncipe de paz. And, and then it also goes on to speak here about the characteristics of Jesus. Y también va ahí para hablar de las características de Jesús. He says, I am meek. Dice, soy manso. I am humble. Soy humilde de corazón. I am gentle. Soy gentil. Oh, hallelujah. I want you to look, take Look at look at the fruit of the spirit again, and I want us to meditate on this all day today. Vamos a meditar una vez más a leer una vez más los frutos del espíritu y quiero que medites todo el día en esto. Patience. Paciencia. Gentleness. Eh, paciencia, mansedumbre. Goodness. Paciencia, perdón, benignidad, bondad. In some translations. Um, some of these words, as I said, they, they are exchanged for, 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 for others, in other words. En otras, en otras traducciones, unas palabras de estas son cambiadas por otras. I'm not going to be able to translate all I'm about to say, but um, sometimes gentleness is translated as kindness. Y muchas veces gentileza o, o benignidad es, 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 es cambiada por gentileza. Hallelujah. O, sí. Hallelujah. It speaks of being mild. Habla de, de ser manso. No, I want you to understand what, what it means to be mild. Quiero que entiendas que ser manso. You, um, I don't know if you, the, the mild is like gentle, it's like being soft, tender. Y, y, y manso es alguien que es gentil, suave. Yes. And it is the opposite of being harsh. Y es todo lo contrario de ser grosero y antipático. In other words, God is saying, I am not a harsh person. En otras palabras, Dios dice, yo no soy grosero, fuerte o, 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 o con carácter eh, antipático. I am gentle. Yo soy gentil, manso. I am good. Yo soy bueno. 
I am kind. Yo soy, eh, 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 and so these words these words they describe the character of Jesus and so you realize that 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 these are the things that the world try to attack in your character the, the, the world tries to teach men to be harsh and rough El mundo trata de enseñar a los hombres a ser fuer eh, eh, groseros y, 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 y de antipáticos y fuertes. It tries to teach men to be violent. De ser violentos. It's trying to teach women to be rough. Y está tratando a las mujeres ahora de enseñar que sean fuertes. But Jesus is saying, I want you to learn from me. Pero Jesús dice, quiero que aprendan de mí. I am going to remove that heavy burden that the world is placing upon you. Yo quiero quitar esa carga pesada que el mundo ha puesto sobre ustedes. I want you to understand that when you don't follow the, the law of the, of the fruit of the spirit. Quiero que entiendas que cuando no sigues la ley del fruto del espíritu. You end up with a heavy burden upon your life. Terminas teniendo una carga muy fuerte sobre a, a burden that you that, that leaves you frustrated Una carga que te deja frustrado. because you need to defend yourself all the time Porque tienes que defenderte todo el tiempo. you need to be everything to, to be to, 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 to hurry and to, to come now y quieres que todo se apure y llegue ya. You need to be forceful against your neighbors. Tienes que ser fuerte en contra de tus vecinos. And anyone who does anything to you, you need to stand your ground. Y que si alguien te hace algo, tú tienes que pararte firme. Because why? Christian people are not supposed to be foolish. Porque los cristianos no tienen que ser bobos. You ever hear that statement before? Okay, it's in mansos, but no mensos. Yeah, yeah. Natalia says, and we can't trans. I can't translate that. But it's like you can be, be, be wise, but don't no, be foolish. No, be, um, meek. Big, meek, but don't be yes, foolish. yes. Be humble, but don't be foolish. Yeah. And so, the 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 world is mundo. is trying to place this. Type of burden upon us. El mundo pone esa carga sobre nosotros. It's trying to, they're trying to tell you, listen, stand up and defend yourself. Que tratan de decirte, párate y defiéndete. Stand up for what you believe. Párate por lo que tú crees. And 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 in a forceful way, I'm talking en about. Una forma forzosa. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. No dejes que nadie te use. But Jesus said, I want you to learn from me. Pero Jesús dijo, quiero que aprendan de mí. I will fight your battles. Yo voy a pelear tus batallas. And, 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 and if you follow the law of the spirit. Y si sigue la ley del espíritu. You are going to realize that, that no one can stop you from being gentle. Te vas a dar cuenta que nadie te puede tener, detener de ser gentil, manso. Anybody, anybody here, is, do we have any gentle people here? Alguien aquí eh, 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 es, es, es manso y gentil. No, um, <laughs> you, know, you know, we are growing up. I don't know in Spanish, I don't think this prayer existed, but um, in, in growing up, there was this um, prayer we used to pray every night. Y cre no sé si en español, no creo que en español esté esta oración, pero creciendo, orábamos esta oración todas las noches. It, the prayer goes, gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Dice gentil es Jesús, manso y humilde. Look upon this little child. Mira, mira y, y, y pon tus ojos sobre este niño. And so, uh, the prayer, I would, I, 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 I always thought that this was a prayer somebody make up. Yo siempre pensé que esta era una oración que alguien se había inventado. But um, the Lord had me researching this prayer. Pero el Señor me tiene buscando esta oración. And I realized that this prayer was actually a, not just a prayer, but it was a hymn. Pero me di cuenta que esto no solamente era una oración, pero era un himno. A hymn that was written by Charles Wesley. Y me di cuenta que es un himno escrito por, eh, por eh, Charles Wesley. Uh, one, one, one of the, the, the reformers of the church. Uno de los reformadores de la iglesia. And as he was speaking about, about, about uh, it was the heart of a child. Y él hablando del corazón del niño. And I was reading the history of the song. Y leyendo la historia de la canción. I discovered that it was the, it, the song was actually 
um, based on, on the scripture we just read in Matthew chapter 11. When Jesus says, I am meek and cuando, mild. Cuando dice, and he says, I, I, I'm, you, have, you, have, you have hidden these things from the wise. Dice, Tú has estas cosas de los but, but, but you have revealed them to babies. Pero lo ha a los bebés. You have revealed them to children. A los niños. And so, and so the, the, the songwriter Charles Wesley is actually basing his song on the scripture. Entonces, él está basando su canción en la escritura. A song that became a prayer for little children. Una canción que se convirtió en una oración para niños. But I want you to understand that this is a, a prayer for everybody. Pero quiero que entiendas que esta es una oración para todos. This scripture was not just for children. Esta escritura no solo era para niños. This scripture, Matthew 11, 25 to 30. Mateo 11, 24 al 25. It, it, this is Jesus speaking about his identity. Esto es Jesús hablando de su identidad. And his identity that he, 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 he is able to reveal through children. Y su identidad que él puede revelar a través de los niños. Because, because children, they reflect the humility and the gentleness Porque of Jesus. La y la gentileza, la de Jesús. Characteristics that God wants to bring forth in you. Características que Dios quiere que tú tengas. I don't know what situations you're, you're faced with right now. Yo no sé qué situaciones tú tienes que enfrentar. But I'm speaking to somebody who is getting ready to do to, to do flesh some flesh battle. <laughs> Pero le estoy hablando a alguien que está listándose para hacer una batalla en la casa. The Lord is speaking directly to you today. Dios te está hablando directamente you, a ti. You have been preparing your mind to tell off somebody. Tú te estás preparando en tu mente decirle a alguien. You're, you're already planning if she, if she only come today. Esto solo estás planeando si ella viniera hoy o él. I am, I am not taking that today. No voy a poder tener recibir Mónica porque se ríe. I am not going to stay quiet today. Yo no me voy a callar hoy. I'm going to tell her everything she did from years ago. Le voy a decir lo que hizo desde años atrás. I'm getting ready for, for, for war today. I, I, I could have handled that yesterday, but today is not a good day. Hoy pudiera, había podido manejar eso a, ayer, pero hoy no es un buen día. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Yo no sé a quién le estoy hablando. But God is speaking to you. Pero Dios te está hablando. God says, I want you to not follow the laws of this world. Y Dios dice, no quiero que siga las leyes de este mundo. Jesus, the Bible says in the book of Zechariah 9, Jesús verse 9. Jesús en Zacaria, eh, habla de Jesús diciendo en Zacaria 9. It's a prophetic word of something that was fulfilled when Jesus entered into Jerusalem. Esto es una palabra profética que se cumplió cuando Jesús entró a Jerusalén. Can we read it? Zechariah 9. Verse 9. Zacaria 9, versículo 9. Hallelujah. Praise the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes. You, you... Alégrate mucho, hija de Sion. Da voces de júbilo, hija de Jerusalén. He aquí tu rey vendrá a ti, justo y salvador, humilde, cabalgando sobre un asno y sobre un pollino, hija de, hijo de asna. Says, rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king comes unto you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon the colt, the foal of an ass. This is, this is Jesus este talking Jesus. about. When Jesus came into Jerusalem, Cuando Jesús vino a Jerusalem this, this prophetic word was fulfilled. Esta palabra profética se cumplió. Jesus, listen, Jesus could have deal with everyone with a sword. You know? Jesús podía haber tratado con todos con una espada. Um, Jesus could have come in and just destroy the temple, destroy the Pharisees, destroy the Romans. Jesús había podido venir a destruir el templo, los fariseos, los romanos. Just, just remove everyone from their place. Remover a todos de su lugar. He is the king that is entering into his own city. Él es el rey que está viniendo a su propia ciudad. He is in charge. Él está a cargo. No, no, I don't know if you have ever um, been close to a president, a prime minister. Yo no sé si alguna vez ha estado cerca de un presidente a o king. un primer ministro o un rey. Recently we were doing a lot of studies on royal families. Recientemente hicimos muchos estudios en, en, real, en, en la realeza. And you would realize the amount of preparation that has to go take place before they come. 
y te das cuenta la preparación que toma lugar antes de, you, de venir. You realize that they, they have to have a large procession and a lot of security. Te das cuenta que hay mucha procesión de gente y seguridad. But the Bible says Jesus He comes into the, his own city. Y Jesús viene a su propia gente. And he's riding upon an ass. Y él está montado en un burrito. And he's coming with a spirit of humility. Y él viene con un espíritu de humildad. He comes humble. Él viene humilde. Oh, hallelujah. This is, this is the entrance that brings salvation. Esta es la entrada que trajo salvación. Crucifixion is about humility. La crucifixión se trata de humildad. I want you to understand, and we're going to finish here because I know we have a whole lot of stuff taking place. Y quiero terminar aquí porque tenemos muchas cosas que están sucediendo. And Natalia, is, she's just holding on here with me. Y Natalia está acá teniendo paciencia. <laughs> <laughs> But she has to have patience. Ella necesita tener paciencia hoy. Oh, hallelujah. And, and the worker has to have, have to have patience. Well, don't translate that because he can't understand. Y el trabajador tiene que tener paciencia. <laughs> hallelujah. You know, she, tra I tell she don't translate it. She translated. Le dije no traducir y ella lo tradujo. Oh, my God. Look at what it says. Mira lo que dice. Was to, after the, the fruit of the Spirit is, is listed, Después Galatians 5. Fruto del Espíritu está aquí, Galatas 5. Verse 24. Versículo 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh. Pero todos los que son de Cristo han crucificado la carne. So, so in order for you to see the fruit of the Spirit, Entonces, para que tú puedas ver el fruto del Espíritu, you have to crucify the flesh. Tienes que crucificar la so, carne. So when Jesus was entering in on this donkey, Entonces, cuando Jesús entró en este burrito, you think he didn't want to deal with everybody? ¿Tú no crees que él quería tratar con todo el mundo? He's the king. Él es el rey. Listen, even when Pilate was asking him questions. Aun cuando Pilot, Pilato le, le hizo preguntas. He, very few things he spoke. Pocas cosas Jesús contestó. But, well, one of the things he said was this. Pero una de, las, de esas cosas que él contestó so, fue eso. So, listen, you don't think I could call an army right now? Y le dijo, ¿sabes que tú no crees que yo puedo llamar un ejército ahora? And they will fight for me. Y pelearían por mí. You, know, you don't think I could just destroy everybody right now? Entonces, ¿tú no crees que yo podría destruir a todos said, ahora you, mismo? You, you have no power over me. Tú no tienes poder sobre mí. Unless, unless it was given to you. A menos de que se haya sido entregado. And so Jesus could have just destroyed. Entonces, Jesús podía haber, haber destruido todo. He could have just have an open show and, and call fire from heaven. Tener un show abierto y llamar eh, fuego del cielo. But he chose crucifixion. Pero él decidió la crucifixión. So that the fruit of the spirit would come forth. Para que el fruto del espíritu salga. Today you are going to have to be crucified. Hoy tienes que estar crucificado. The crucifixion is going to bring the patience upon you. La crucifixión va a traer paciencia sobre tu vida. It's going to bring kindness upon you. Va a traer humildad, mansedumbre. You are going to become gentle today. Vas a ser benigno, manso. You're going to have joy today. Vas a tener gozo. You're going to have love today. Vas a tener amor. You know in your nature you don't want to love, right? Sabes en tu naturaleza tú no quieres amar. You don't want to love anybody. Tú no quieres amar a nadie. Yeah, because nobody loved you when you needed love. Nadie te amó cuando tú necesitabas amor. You don't want to have joy. Tú no quieres tener gozo. Because you have no reason to have joy. Porque no tienes razón para tener so gozo. So you want to hold on to your bitterness. Así que quieres que aferrarte a tu amargura. Jesus says, come unto me. Pero Jesús dice, ven a mí. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, come. Ven. Today, you're going to come unto Jesus. Hoy vas a venir a Jesús. You're going to come unto him. Vas a venir a él. Hallelujah. Kevin, you want to help me with the last part of it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Natalia. No, 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 terminal, sorry. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Alabado sea el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Alabado sea el nombre de Jesús. We thank God for his peace. Le damos gracias a Dios por su paz. Thank God for his presence. Gracias a Dios por su presencia. Oh, hallelujah. Even right now. Ahora mismo. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to declare peace upon your life today. Yo declaro paz sobre tu vida hoy. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. You're not going to find that battle in the flesh today. The Lord is giving you strength right now. I hear that word gentleness. In Jesus' name. Humility. This doesn't come by you, from your own nature. This is the fruit of the Spirit today. So when Jesus came in riding on the donkey, to his own kingdom, he came in to be crucified. Came in with silence. Oh, hallelujah. That's the power of mercy. You know? Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. delivering somebody from anger right now and bitterness I want you to understand that there are laws against bitterness and anger Jesus, Jesus said that if you are angry against your brother with, without a cause he considers you to be a murderer in other words you are breaking God's laws These are the burdens of the world. But meekness, goodness, no, no laws against this. You are free today in the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free to rejoice. Oh, hallelujah. You can rejoice. You can have peace today. The joy and the peace of God upon your life right now. Let's receive right now. Let's receive right now. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. there's a storm inside of your home. Is anybody here you felt like you've been feeling like that? It's been like there is a storm inside of your house. And you don't know what to do. I declare the peace of God first. The fruit of the Spirit is going to come forward. Jesus, in Matthew 11, this is what he said. I am meek. Yo soy manso. I am gentle. Yo soy humilde. 
In other words, this is who I am. En otras palabras, esto es quién soy yo. This is my identity. Esta es mi identidad. This is my personality. Esta es mi personalidad. And as I said before, that's what the fruit of the spirit means. Y estos son como dije antes, son los frutos It's del the espíritu. The DNA of the spirit. Es el ADN del espíritu. The DNA of the Holy Spirit. El ADN del Espíritu Santo. The corpus of the Holy Spirit. El corpus del Espíritu Santo. The characteristic. Las características. It's who he is. And it's who you are. That's the law of the Spirit. The law of the Spirit transforms you. When you are crucified, you lay your burdens down. And, and you begin to live in the Spirit. Jesus said, Come unto me. All those that are laden with heavy burdens. I will give you rest. Don't carry that burden anymore. Receive rest right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the rest of the Spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, break through in the name of the... Break through right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Gracias, Espíritu Santo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Gracias, Espíritu Santo. We give God thanks and praise. We want to thank God for being right here in the midst of us today. And for touching our hearts, touching our lives. May the fruit of the Spirit manifest in your life. You are crucified. There is no law against the DNA of the Spirit. You can have joy today. Hoy puedes tener gozo. You can have peace today. Puedes tener paz. You can have love today. Puedes tener amor. You can have kindness. Puedes tener mansedumbre, dignidad, paciencia. You can have faith today. Puedes tener fe. You can have humility today. Puedes tener humildad. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bless you today. I want to thank God for being right here in the midst of us. Wonderful time in His presence. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for every person connected here. And we pray, pray for, 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 for a breakthroughs in this day. Pray, O oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit is going gonna, is gonna to work miracles in our character, in our mind. And Father, we would follow you, O oh Lord. We would come as children. Oh Lord, Father, we lead on our burdens crucify the flesh and we will walk in the law of the fruit of the spirit and receive rest of souls in Jesus name Amen, Amen.